Okay, so here is the final closed version uh, without any special markings. And here is my signed zip tie. So we're going to stick that in there. Push it through. There's probably a little bit of extra material in there to break. Yeah. Okay. And so when I... Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> and I stick this in here. Put that in there again. Okay, so when I stick this in there, I should hear my little snap. Yeah, so that's snapped in there. I can't, I can't push that back up at all. It doesn't come out. And if it were to come out, it would break something for sure. Uh, all of this is quite thin. It's like maybe most of most of the walls are one millimeter thin, thick. Okay, so then I get that in there. So this is pulled all the way down here. So I'm gonna just let it off just a little bit. Uh, I think that's just the way I made it. Sometimes this part's a little bit finicky. Come on. Come on, do it for the video. Let's go. Oh, maybe it goes, maybe it's all the way down that's supposed to be. I don't remember. Okay, so I'm just going to Pull this bit down a little bit. Help it get in there where it's supposed to be. Okay, so it, it should hit the end here. I can feel that it's done that. And that's it. It is in there. So if I were to, like, so for example, if I were to pull on this really hard. Okay, I can't pull that hard in front of the camera. Um, so we're going to cut it open, just take a look and make sure that this thing is foolproof and that it's in there the way I expect it to be. Actually, this may be a way that you could forge one of these, or that I could open it close it again. If I did this really carefully, I think there might be a chance that I could get past it. So, um, so there it is. That's the way it is inside. So this is a cutaway of the zip tie hood and uh, a zip tie. Now, of course, if you just have a regular zip tie, then anybody can come along <coughs> to stick a pin inside of it like that and pull it open and so and then of course they can look at the contents of whatever it was sealing and then close it back up if you have this zip tie hood what you do uh, of course this is all closed on the top <clears throat> what you do is you stick this in here like that and oops I'm doing it upside down stick this in there like that just slips in like that. Now this little tab right here, this is gonna just snap like that and that will that will be in there so you can't you can't pull it out without breaking it after that. Okay. So then you want to cut your zip tie to the right length. And then you just slip it in there. So I'm I'm guiding this with my finger because it's not closed but but basically you may have to fiddle with this just a little bit, but at this point you're going to get the zip tie closed, and it's going to go in like that. Okay, so the, these are bent, so you can't get a blade in here, and you can't, or, or anything like a fish tape, kind of miniature fish tape kind of thing uh, that would uh, push that open. You can't get a blade in here and start cutting this or this one. Um, and so then, uh, the one thing that you could do, for example, is you could yank on this really hard. Uh, I've done this before, and that and that will open that will open a zip tie, but it'll damage it permanently. So once you do that, if you were to yank that open, then your your package would be like this, and 
and the next time you put it in, it just wouldn't wouldn't stay uh, wouldn't stay closed. You'd be able to open it easily after that. So you could tell that it's been tampered with. Um, and yeah, okay. So I just want to show you one last security feature. So so potentially somebody could just destroy this, get rid of it, and make a new one and replace yours. So this is when you actually want to put your signature uh, or some or something onto the zip tie, and you can even use some chalk to highlight it so that the person who's thinking of tampering with, with your item knows that there's a tamper-proof seal on it um, and that, uh, that, that this will be discovered. And, and I think that's important. Um, yeah, so as I said, this thing will, will break if, uh, if you try to, to take it off. You can only use one of these once. Um, I just want to show you the measurements. So this is 5.54 uh, uh, millimeters deep, 8 millimeters wide, 8 millimeters tall, and 4.8 millimeters wide on the tape itself. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you one more thing. Uh, this, wait. So this thing has teeth pointing that way, meaning that the way, and, and, and so the reason why this is curved this way is not because it makes the zip tie nicely, uh, curve around nicely. It's because if you try to insert a tape in here, it'll actually uh, start to catch against the spines on the um, on the zip tie itself. So that's just another little convenience. And uh, and that's it. Oh, and this is totally closed off because uh, because I don't want you to be able to to reuse this. Um, I want it so that so that the uh, your uh, adversary would have to come up with their own zip tie forgery that looks exactly like this. Uh, and for that reason, since you're 3D printing this, you might as well 3D print a pattern on the top of this thing, which is really hard to reproduce, which has very specific measurements, and you can share those with uh, with the receiver of the package by electronic means, for example, and, uh, and then they can verify that it hasn't been uh, forged. And of course, you would share the signature by electronic means, too. So have fun with that.